We're going to take this uh, 67 Chevy C10. We're going to drill, tap, and screw it. We're going to take these right here apart. We're going to put uh, a set of aftermarket wheels on it. Put it all back together. Paint's good. We're not going to mess with any of that. Starters. <clears throat> I always take a, uh, I'm using a 1 16th of an inch drill bit. This is a WD-40 sprayed in a bottle cap. It's always good to use some kind of cutting oil. I, I use that because it's a little less of a mess than a lot of conventional cutting oils. Let me back this camera up just a little bit. See what's going on here. You want to center that on the rivet. A lot of people hold them in their hands like this. Um, you see it or not. That's a result of holding it in your hand. I ain't going to do that no more. Set it down on this, the bit breaks, the bit breaks. You're not gonna do anything except maybe scratch the car. Basically, I always take and drill the center of this out just a little bit first. That way when you pop the, take the drip bigger drill bit, always keep it clean, drill for a second and clean it. Keep a little WD on the end of it, that sure does help it. Uh, the cutting oil effect, see the shavings coming right up out of there? All right, we're gonna call it quits on that for just a minute. Change the drill bit out. Hang on to that and we'll need it again. I'm gonna grab a 530 seconds. This little 12 volt Dewalt kit. Works excellent. Of course, any of them will work, but it's nice and small. All right, what you're gonna do here, what you're going for is just to drill just enough to pop that cap right there. If you don't wanna go too deep, don't wanna mess the plastic up. Don't necessarily need any cutting oil for this. Hope this is in focus. I can't tell if he makes See it or not, right there. It bites real good, kind of pop it off. I always like to, you kind of feel it bite and pull it back. There we go. That's what we're going for right there, just remove the ring. <clears throat> now that ring didn't pop off as smooth as some of the guys does, but <clears throat> it works. Same thing on, on the rear. Let it get a good bite and just pull it back to you. You can see that right there. You may have to take a little pair of pliers. Sorry, get this thing in focus. A little pair of pliers like this. Clean it up. We'll be able to pull the truck apart. Some people you can use a screwdriver or whatever. I tend to try to use my fingernail. You don't want to, I don't want to scratch the body up. I just hooked it right there. Pull it. It'll pop right off. Just like that right there. We didn't hurt the uh, we didn't hurt the hole any. Didn't hurt the base any. Keep that right there. This uh, we want to go ahead. Let me move the camera again. Hold still. Go ahead and pop all this apart. Simply because I don't want to scratch it or scuff it. Take the window out. Lay them over here out of the way. Now what we're gonna do? See how it's nice and clean. You might need to take this right here. That fell off, okay. Take this right here. If there's any, it looks good. It's good and clean. I always like to take my wire pliers and do that right there, kind of clean that up just a little bit. Now we're gonna take and drill, see how I've done got that hole started right there in the center. We're gonna drill that on down. So we can put, come on focus, put threads on it. Down in it so we can run a screw down in there. For that, we're going to switch back out to our 1 16th. Switch back out to the 1 16th. I wish I had a shorter bit, which I could cut that one off, because what I'd like to do is use this as a depth gauge, because I only want to drill so deep. Some of these cars have long long pegs right there, and some of them don't, depending on what the body style. See the back back here? Well, on this truck, you can drill deeper, but on some of the older ones, like, uh, I don't have one out over here. Yeah, I like this one. I drill plumb through, which this truck's gonna have a bed cover on it, so it don't really matter. You'll see the end of the screw, but it don't matter no way on that one. Now, this may be a lengthy process, so I may pause the camera, but I'll show you. We want to drill this out to where it's deep enough. So that just barely is in there. We want it deep enough to where we can have threads. So, get a little WD on the tip. Make sure you try to hold it straight. I may be blocking the view a little bit, but 
Sorry if I do, just real slow. You'll see the, uh, there it comes, curling up out of the hole. Go low RPM, and you're not in any hurry here. It sounds like a Bob Ross move, painting a pretty little tree right over here on the ridge, but take your time, you're not in a hurry. Getting in a hurry causes punctured marks in your finger. Learn from experience. And also, these little bitty 1 16th drill bits will snap at almost nothing. Back it out. See all this shrapnel? Put it in reverse if you want to. Clean all that off. Keep your uh, cutting edges nice and clean. Because it, while it is, you know, bringing them up out of there, it won't, it does clog up. I hope that's in focus. When I edit this video, if I've blocked a bunch of it, I'll just shorten this part up. But All right, let's see how far down we are. We may be far enough down. These little screws are short. Sorry about that. All right, let's see. This one here, Lord, yeah, that's plenty deep enough. I don't know how to... You were probably three sixteenths or over deep. All right, now for the back. Now the back you can still drill, but you've got a little wave. Here again, these screws are tiny. I'll show them to you here in just a minute. We're not, we're not gonna need a, need a real long, real deep uh, here to drill this. Just hang on, let's go ahead and remember, drill slow, keep, uh, Keep some WD on the end of that, helps it cut. Sorry, back that off too, keep those clean. I hate to keep repeating myself, but if I don't. Alrighty, plenty deep enough, that fuel cell looking thing back there. All right, <clears throat> time to thread it. Get this thing in focus, right here we are. Now these are I'm using metric screws. Let me go ahead and get the screws out. Here's the screws I'm using. M2. They're these little old bitty short things. I've got a bunch more ordered, but they're literally on a slow boat from China. These are so small. Let me pick them up here with my pliers. Right there. Right there's the screw. That's, that's all we're using on this thing. There we go. And if it'll focus a little better view, there's all the screw that we're using. So we drill plenty deep enough. Now, same thing goes when you're trying to put the threads in here. Little WD-40 on the end of the thing. I like to use these versus the T-handles because they're less wobbling. This spins. I better dip it again. You'll need to turn a few rounds. Sorry, I keep getting it out of focus. Turn it just a little, back it out, clean it off, repeat. You can feel it as it's starting to cut and it starts to get a little tighter, back it out, clean the threads. Here again, you'll need to take your time at this. Just keep going right in. It's almost about to bottom out. This has kind of got a uh, sharp point on it. They make them, it's got more of a blunt tip which you can get the threads on down. This one works fine for this. You can feel it tighten up. Better quit right there on that. That's plenty of thread. We don't wanna break out, because if you break that off in there, you've got some trouble. Watch me break this knob since I said that probably. You feel it get tight, back it out, clean it up. Same thing over and over and over. Go slow, back it out. One more time, or to about do it on that one. Yep, there we go. There we go. All right, we'll set the body aside. Now, it's time to change the axles, and change the wheels on the uh, base. <clears throat> A lot of people snips them, some prize that up from there. There's no use in all that. I may want to use those on something else, so I want to save them. Just gonna take a screwdriver, place it right there, give it a twist, place it right there, give it a twist, 
Didn't get it quite enough. See, all I'm doing is standing those up, pull that axle right out. The axle's not bent. Run your screwdriver in there just like that. The new one will lay right in place. Switch it right around. Do the same thing. Twist it. Twist it. And I'll show you why we're not going to destroy those in just a minute. Look there. We're going to save those. Take your screwdriver, make sure it's clean. And there you have it. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and test fit the wheels that I want to use. And see, that's got a way too much play. We can't have that. What about the front? Front's got too much play also. Now, <clears throat> I have some tubes ordered, which obviously is not here yet, that you can take and put in there. And uh, that'll be a whole separate video. Put the tubes in. Use two separate pieces of axle, slide it through there. Those wheels look a little bit small. I don't know if we'll be able to use those on the back or not. Set the body on for a test fit. Snap it back together. Wow, that, I like the way that looks, but buddy, that sits way up. Uh, if you had it in camera, snap it back together, I'm sorry. I like the way that looks, but it sits way up under there. That just, which I know we'll cut, the, we would modify the axle, but that's, that's just too small. That just don't look right. Let's try another set. Still, we would have to mod the axle ever so slightly. But I believe that right there fits and would work much better because even though I wanted to go with the same size tire and wheel on this thing in front and rear, I believe we'd be better off going with that one. Yeah, let's use those. That is the, I believe they're Advent A5s. I believe it's staggered fit. 11 and a 13, got them from shop164.com. Check those out. I put a link down below. I have bought several tires and wheels off them. Several sets, rather. Great place to deal with. All right, so we're gonna have to do just a little bit of modifying because we've got too much, too much slack right there. That needs to be taken up. The front, now we'll live with the front. The front's perfect, okay? For the time being, let's lay it over here. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. So, these tubes that I'm talking about getting, you'd lay down in there, glue it or whatever, and you take two pieces of the, that comes with it, it's made like this, or you could cut this one in half, I guess, and bend it ever so slightly, push the wheels in. It'll work. They work. Most of these things become shelf queens anyway. I mean, you know. I'm not going to get these down to play with them. They're going to sit up on a shelf. They're going to sit there for something to look at. But here's what I do. All right. Just to get it, for instance. Snap that. Got quite a bit to take off. So I don't go ahead and do it all at once. But what I'll do is cut a small increment. Get my small cutters. Maybe cut that much off to start with. Okay. Now, this will leave a flat, but I'm going to turn it to where the way the pack and I'm going to put it in. You won't see it. Pinch that ever so slightly right there with a good set of ply, uh, vice grips. Mash it. Now, I know this may not be as nice as a, you know, a lot of them. But really, it's a, it's a dollar hot wheel. Well, kind of hard to show you when I can't hang on to it. All right. Now, what we just did, shorten the axle. I want to take it up just a little more. I don't want that sliding back and forth. So I'm not going to cut it off again yet. You see what I've done right there is left a flat spot. I'm going to take my same vice grips, scoot in just a little bit more. I hope that's in camera. Scoot in another small amount. Crimp it again. And we got a big old ugly flat spot sticking up there if it'll focus. We'll take care of that in a minute. Let's try it now. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna do it one more time, then we'll cut that extra off. Measure once, measure twice, measure three times, test fit it. All right. 
That'll be good. We can live with that. We'll be all right with that. I'm gonna give that a good mashing down because we're fixing to cut that access right there. We're fixing to cut all that extra off of it. Yeah, good solid crimp. And I tighten them vice grips up one more time and crimp it tight. Now all this extra, all this extra right here, this big ugly piece, you wanna leave some of it, of course, because that's what's gonna hold the wheel on. See there? It lays in there, good shape. So, now we're fixing to get ready to, some people just lay those down in there and they don't worry about re, you know, recapturing them, but we're going to. I'll show you how. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do to keep the wheels on there. I like to capture mine, some people don't. That's where this comes into play. What we're gonna do, gotta make sure the axle is firmly pressed down in the little valley, front and rear. And it depends how you, you know, where you can't really see this down in there where I done that mashing. I mean, these wheels are big. You don't really even see it. Especially since I don't have it in focus. You don't see that? It's all good. All right, my, it's running low on fuels reason it's doing that, so. Lean it out here, that's good enough. What I'm gonna do is take a small flat screwdriver, heat the tip of it up. Like I said, everybody, you don't have to do this when you put the body and stuff on it, we'll hold it. But I do like to recapture this back kind of the way it is, or was. All right, now what I do there, I just take and mash those plastic things back down over that. I'm gonna have to heat my screwdriver. Let me work on this thing right here just a second and I'll be right back with you. It's working better than it was, but I'm about out of fuel, so I'm just gonna have to limp through this one. The object here is to get your screwdriver good and hot, the blade of it, you're not gonna hurt it, it's a little old cheap. Screwdriver, just hold it back there where the end don't burn your finger. Once you get it heated up, just take it and mash those back down. Mash those back down just like that. It kind of recaptures those. Yes, the body will hold it on. It's just personal preference. Just what I like to do. <clears throat> Once again, rinse and repeat on the other end. I'm gonna have to get some fuel for my little torch. Same thing right there. Mash that back down. Now, axles are recaptured. Cut that off, because I don't have any fuel hardly anyway. <clears throat> now, when you go to put this together, this has got screws, so you can take it back apart. Just remember, you got the windshield, depending on what vehicle you're working on. This happens to be the Chevy 68. Put that back together. Y'all didn't see it, did you? Put it back together here. And the way I've got this drilled, it should snap. And it'll stay together. Stay together, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and put the screws in it. Now, these are the little screws. Like I say, they're short. These are metrics, I showed you the size. Get them started, start it slow. You can get washers in some cases. I don't have any right now. These will break, by the way. Those little screws will twist off, but you got them threaded right. Hit a seat. Y'all can see that. Other than the screw head, you can't tell we took it apart. And if you want to take it back apart in the future, change to a different set of wheels. You could just reheat that, melt it apart. I've changed two or three different sets two or three different times until I found something I was happy with. Same thing on the front, tighten it down, and there you are. Wheel swap, simple. Let's go ahead and get the camera off the <clears throat> tripod here. It's a roller. no binding 
this is the same wheels the advent twos is the same wheels that i used on the uh Oh, 2018 Camaro. I've used several sets of them. Let's use it right here. I took you the pack apart. Done the wheel swap. Gosh, I wish I would focus. Done the wheel swap. Put it back in the pack. Got it hanging up here for the time being. <clears throat> anyway, there it is. Very simple wheel swap. What this, what's going on with this thing and not focusing this afternoon? 67 Chevy, C10, Hoosier. Good looking wheel swap, not cause it's mine, not cause I did it, it just doesn't seem to match. If you liked the video, drop a like, share, subscribe. God bless y'all and we'll see you on the next one.